Okay, we have a VMUS4 ozone generator here made by ASCO Industries, and I want to show you uh, a few connections to it and how to take the dielectric out. So on the circuit board here, this is uh, where your 120 volt, 120 volt power comes in. Uh, that can be unplugged. There's a little catch on there for diagnostics if you wanted to power it up and, and uh, remove it from power you can do it with that this ribbon cable here along with the circuit board is uh, for a 4 to 20 milliamp input um, so you control the power level of the ozone generator this also can be unplugged when it's unplugged then it's at 100 percent output um, the other end here this is your high voltage transformer what i'd like to do is show you how to take this dielectric out uh, in order to do that, you have to unplug the high voltage. Then on either end, uh, there's a plastic nut. When you take this nut off, you'll have an O-ring in here. That actually serves as a spacer between the quartz dielectric and the metal housing of this uh, plasma tube. Uh, with the oxygen going in, it fills the, there's a thin space around the dielectric uh, where the gas is forced through. High voltage is applied in the center. There's conductor spiraled all the way through the inside. Uh, it's quite easy to take these apart. I threaded that side off. Uh, normally these would be hand tightened. And there's a rubber O-ring that's, that's actually a Viton O-ring that seals the space there. Uh, if they've been used for a while, this is going to be a little bit tight, so I like to push it back and forth. Uh, if you put a little bit of soapy water on here, that uh, really helps loosen that up. Push it back and forth. Then this uh, Viton O-ring will come off, and it's fairly easy on the other end to just pull the, the quartz dielectric out. And There you can see uh, the conductor on the inside. There's a spiral of wire inside and then this uh, the metal uh, that's all, it's all on the inside. The uh, oxygen gas is actually flowing around the outside between this and uh, the housing on the inside. It's just uh, stainless steel housing on the inside. Um, if the dielectric would get cracked, uh, these can be easily replaced. Uh, if they would get water in the ozone generator, Taking it apart like this, you can clean it up and, and dry it out and put it right back together. Now when you put it back together, you leave just a little bit of it uh, sticking out on either end. Oh, I wanted to show you one more thing. After taking this out, uh, this Kynar fitting on the end will also come off. It's a little bit tighter, especially if they've been used a while. You may need to uh, grab it with a pliers or something and I'm going to pull it off kind of straight, twist it. Got another Kynar O-ring that seals uh, so that you don't get ozone or any gas uh, coming through that, that union there. Uh, that O-ring, if it's been used a while and if it's leaking, uh, this should be replaced with, a, uh, with another Viton O-ring of the right size. We do have those in stock if you need one. So when putting it back together, um, it is this one's brand new, so it does have a little bit of slip to it yet, but uh, you could put a little bit of some soapy water on there to make that slide on easier. But again, if you twist it while pushing, uh, then these can be directed any direction that sh that's convenient. Um, they usually come with them facing up. So I'll put it back together, put this O-ring back, put the nut back on this side, nut on this side, and then you want to tighten both of them at the same time. Do them nice and snug, hand tighten, um, they'll seal up uh, as long as the O-rings are in good shape. You know, and reconnect the high voltage terminal and it's it's ready to go. Hook it up to 120 volt power and it'll start making ozone for you.